Je m'appelle Bianca Valerio and welcome to Paris and that's my ride. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. That is my ride. That is a vintage Citroën. I think I said that right. So this model in particular is the very first model that actually had a front engine in the car as opposed to the ones that were in the back okay and then if you can see in the back we are here in the plaza vendome god am i saying that right it's basically the most expensive plaza in paris all around we are surrounded by the most expensive shop we've got chanel we've got uh, uh jaeger lacolle louis vuitton dior chaparelli so on and so forth and then right over there that is the ritz hotel um on a happy note uh our tourist our tour guide said that madonna is always here every time she comes now now on a sadder note i believe this is where princess diana also stayed um the night she died and then this statue over here that is napoleon bonaparte at the very top and if imagine back in the day this would actually be copper that would be glistening glistening okay and take a look at our beautiful car vintage car that is how we're rolling today all three hours all around the city in this beautiful vintage Citroen all right So that's the office of Emily in Paris. Wow. Yeah, cool. Marie Antoinette in lived prison, in the last days of her existence. The final trial here, that sentenced her to death. This was a former death. prison. This building over here, a former prison. Okay, so you see that? So every summer, they actually create this summer vibe of putting like fake palm trees you know, um, I wouldn't say sand, but definitely like this, you know, you've got your little tents right there. And it's just to give everybody like the chance to actually hang out for the summer, spend it here by the river and feel that slightly tropical vibe. I'm like so happy right now. <laughs> yes, the history, but also Emily in Paris. Bye. That's a really famous restaurant that's toured the Tour Argent, where it's really, really expensive. So um, it just basically means Silver Tower because I believe the ceiling has this very disco-y, like glitterly, sparkly vibe. So where I am now is Square de Arenas de Lutes. Arenas de Lutes. 
I'm guessing it's like an arena. So it was a former amphitheater and um, it was actually uh, destroyed by the barbarians and was buried into the ground. It was only in 1870 where they did a major excavation and it is now what you see today. Okay, so a lot of people think that, you know, the gladiators only belong during the Roman Empire in Italy and Rome, but that is not true. They actually had gladiators here as well. So this amphitheater. So imagine that this was once upon a time we had gladiators fighting, fighting for their lives, and then, um, and then all of this. Um, all these stands right here all these seats it was actually buried into the ground it disappeared and was only like uh, a few hundred years later that it was um, exactly what it is now so it was a restoration project and um, it's actually nice because you know a lot of people think oh let's go to this part of Paris uh, Montmartre like the Eiffel Tower or the Louvre or um, the Palais Royal or Versailles you know all these famous places but you know it's always these little untapped gems historical gems where you get to appreciate or see another side of Paris hmm. So a little fun fact for you, not so much a fun fact, but this car right here, before it gets dark, super good. This was actually used by the Nazis. That's right, it was used by the Gestapo, where if you actually see a, a photos of it, there's actually like a wheel at the back, usually. Yeah, so the Nazis actually used this car during um, the Third Reich. So maybe once upon a time, Hitler was riding one of these babies too. Am I right? Maybe. So this church right here is was seen in the movie, The Da Vinci Code. San Sulpice Church. One of our stops is actually, yeah, it's so pretty. While this is a site, so is this one. That's right, while this is vintage, this is even more vintage. So that's the Notre Dame, as we know that it actually uh, was burned uh, a couple of years back. So it's undergoing actually major renovations. You can see all the scaffolding. So, um, but this baby over here is working pretty dandy. Imagine driving us three hours around the city. We are actually his fourth tour of the day. And uh, we've been driving around through, you know, very small streets. And it's actually quite exquisite that you need such a fine car like this that goes through all those little streets in Paris. And nice that it's actually not traffic. Because the worst thing is having to be stuck in traffic, especially in Paris. But because it's a Sunday and it's such a beautiful summer day, we are driving in this car. It is just absolutely amazing. I know that, uh, guys, I, I apologize in advance if some of the views that you see, it's like from an awkward, I mean, look, I think for you, if you're a tourist and you're riding a car, it is hard to take videos and photos with your phone or a real camera when you're inside a moving car. And same goes for this, even with a top down. But that's not to say I'm trying to show you all the best sides of what he's actually showing us and all the things that we can see through the lens of this beautiful car. Honestly, I'm like super confused. It's either this bridge or that bridge where Sarah Jessica Parker had poured the ashes of Big down the river. It doesn't matter, but it's one of these beautiful bridges right here.
prepped. Yeah. He's up there, yes. So Benjamin's is taking us to places that he's going to buy me new clothes at, like Chanel, Dior. <laughs> but he's actually very nice because he's, you know, it's not just fashion, but he's actually showing us that these are actually where clothes are manufactured and sold, where the store of Chanel is just right there. So thank you for that, Benjamin. super panicking getting into the car you know trying to take a photo and i forgot to take a video look where she is she's twinkling with the lights and then we've got the car in the back like what is happening this is such a blessing vintage car by the river with the paris twinkling in the sky what a great night in paris